In the case of us um, moving away from sort of uh, the prioritization on tiles to the, pri the prioritization on, on traditional maps, uh, you guys are going to start seeing the, the impact of that coming down the line. Um, Operation 3 was, was baked a while ago from a content standpoint, so it's hard for us to go back and do that. But we heard you guys clear, uh, free and clear around maps you guys want. We know that you guys want new maps. We know that you guys want uh, classic maps, you know, no the ever-popular river. Uh, Jacinto is asked for a lot, things hey. like that. So uh, all of those things that um, we want, uh, that we know you guys want, we're, we're, um, those are coming. So uh, we know, uh, we know. So, anyways, let's look. So, we got Papahanu here. So, this takes place on the Galongi Islands, as uh, kind of those of you may, may be aware of the significance of that. Um, there's a Santa Ruin in the middle here, where in this case, the um, the uh, uh, the flag is based. Um, and, and then you're going to go, and then there's sort of uh, multiple lanes on the left and the, and the right there uh, uh, that you're going to go through. And I shot, oh, Liam. <laughs> what are you talking about? And, I, I, I almost got two. <laughs> Don't put and, um, So, uh, but it's, uh, it, it, we think it's really a really great map. It's very moody. I think it's unlike any other map we've seen in Gears in a while. To me, aesthetically, it's got that kind of gritty old Gears vibe to it. But it's still kind of, and it's got different cover. Where like cover now is can be trees, so you're gonna you can do dances and strafes around objects, not just with like with with like wall base cover, but with more vertical base cover as well. You're not, so I think that to me is an interesting aspect of, of what that's all about. I think for, for me the big standout thing about Bahanu and that's the most different, like and weirdly out of everything, is yes. if you notice it's got a ton of organic elevation change. Like usually in a gears map, you've got flat and you've got stairs and you might have a ramp, right? This actually yeah. like has rolling hills that like have elevation differences. So when you have a Nasher fight on this, you're gonna have to actually adjust your shots up and down um, yeah. a lot less kind of linearly than you would before where it was kind of like, oh, they're on the stairs, I aim a bit more up, right? Like if you just yeah. look at this, it's, you can see all the little elevation changes in just how I walk, sorry team. <laughs> Um, so this is uh, one of the sides here that has like a real dangerous cut through into mid. Something you can do on this map, by the way, uh, that's kind of a new thing. I'm going to try and show it. Um, again, sorry team. Just look. You can actually get a bit sneaky in foliage. Uh, so if you're trying to flank round and get behind the enemy team, this is actually something you want to use to try and keep yourself as hidden as possible because there's exactly. so many good angles. Liam playing, you know, like an old Fortnite bush camper right now. Don't, no, no. Do not say that. <laughs> I don't play Fortnite. <laughs> PUBG bush camper, I'll take. Push, oh, yeah, put that. <laughs> um, but, so, but we think this mode play, I, I, I like this map because it actually plays really, really well across a variety of different modes. It works great on gridiron. I think the, the end zones uh, are positioned really, really nicely. But it's fun on Koth. It's fun on Escalation. It's just a fun, mo uh, fun map around it. Probably actually is my favorite uh, Gears 5 map. Strang, don't say. cap. Leave I the remember last when it down. was being designed a long, it. long time ago. So if we get Garrett down, it's nice to see coming out. If we get Garrett down, don't cap. <laughs> oh no! Uh, maybe I'll get it in. There you go. Ah, oh, you can see you see some of the camera work there though. Um, you can see like the way we're like kind of following it up, and then it kind of the camera puts down. We're trying to really lean into that for executions to make them pop. So I try to show you. <laughs> And yes, it is a bigger map. It, it, it doesn't, like the actual played area in the majority of the map isn't um, actually that big. The spawn areas are quite big. Um, yeah. you have, you, sometimes you end up playing pretty deep into them. But uh, the actual, yeah. if you look at the kind of center line of the map, it's pretty, it's pretty kind of a normal-ish size. Um, but it has just deeper uh, spawn locations. So yeah. Hopefully I can oh, we got Marsh is in here. He's one of the esports pros from, the, from Europe. Curious to see kind of his perspective. He says the map's huge. Blaze is in here. I'm not sure what Blaze is thinking uh, from a from an esports perspective on how this map is going to kind of play out. It's interesting. Um, I think, I, like I said, I think people are going to really dig this map. I think it's a, a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something different. Oh no, way, I didn't see you. I apologize. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to try and grab that Boltok purely because I want to get the cold-blooded execution in if I can. Screw the win. <laughs> try and show. You, try and please the chat. Oh no, so our flag carrier, so we're in a position now, we're 2v1, we do have the flag, um, and thankfully, if I, oh okay, there's a talk bar, I can't hear it. 
<laughs> that was a surprise. Nice shot, hey. Um, but hopefully I'll show you guys the... Uh, yeah, this map was stated as allowing for long-range shootouts. Yeah, I think one of the defining things to me is that uh, positioning is really important on this map. So if you win your fight, using it to get shots on other teams to help dislodge those fights is pretty critical. Like, I'm going to go to the cave side now. Um, so if you look at the map here, uh, you can see that I'm going towards the cliff. And where the talk is, is that kind of cavey area. That's where I'm headed to. Um, you know, if we win this, it really helps unlock that middle altar uh, if that's in a bit of a stalemate. So winning your fight and then using it to help your teammates is pretty critical. That was the well, you can see you. here where it's going to come. Like, you're going to see, like, as, like, this is where the, the stalemate part of the mode is going to be gone, where, you know, you're going to have people collapse around end zones if they're less of a, of a, of a, uh, if they're down a man. But you still got to be aggressive because yeah. if you just sit there and try to wait people to score the You'll touchdown, then they may wait you guys out. So you're going to see that's where that, that, that keeping track of where your opponents are at all times to make sure that you're getting advantage of power weapons and you're getting advantage of that. And the two minute rounds make this game feel real fast. Uh, if, it, if it goes to like a, a round 13 or whatever it is, where it's basically, let's say 14 to 12 yeah, or 13 12, to 12, 12. Um, yeah. it takes only about 20 minutes. So yeah. the mode plays pretty fast, which, yeah. which we really like. We know that uh, sweaty cough matches or God, I mean, old school escalation matches could take a lot longer than that. So this one we feel like is gonna be, and it's, it's fun from a scoring, it's a bit like 2v2 Nashers, where even if you're down a, a few touchdowns, uh, momentum swings are really easy in this one where you can go through and you can put on a run of something along something else so it's, it's, it's quite different oh i got marks it our team's getting destroyed come on cuff team we gotta pick it up we gotta we gotta work together better uh can so yeah use... um can we have the knee face execution for the snub uh good question, good question. Yeah, it's a good point. We have Blaze wishes the round timer was on, always on. Oh, that's interesting feedback. We can pass that along. Yeah, I think that's a really important thing. Like, the team are super passionate about Blaze and where it can go. Um, we see a lot of potential in it for everybody, every How kind of player. Um, and one of the things the team wants to do is be out there and, and evolve this mode based on how people were playing it, what they liked, what they don't. Um, like, this is something that we believe in this mode and we, we don't feel like this is something we put out as a DLC drop like a you know like how a lot of games you see like a DLC mode drop and it's like okay sweet brand new mode and then it's kind of like oh on to the next one or whatever Gridiron is for us something we really truly believe in and we're going to keep working on and keep iterating on and commit to so yeah. we're pretty excited to see where it goes uh, is there an Easter egg on this map? Uh, I don't think I don't, so. Garrett was talking is. about one. I don't remember if oh, it actually made it or not. I don't know if he got in. I got flanked big time there. That was a nice flank. You see uh, again how there's these like clear cover initial positions and initials. Sorry, I'm dying so much. <laughs> like the, there's like these clear cover positions and initials at the start of the match, and then you see like how that one flank really like dislodged everyone. Like knowing when to move and where is really important because if you get caught out here. If you're going to get caught out by a Lancer, you're going to get cooked, right? If your movement isn't on point and you can't get every bullet to be, um, like, you can't bait out those bullets, you're going to get cooked. So you have to pick your moment Please, and you have to pick your, your moves on. and how you use your smokes a lot on this map. But when you do, yeah. like, it's super rewarding. You'll have some great Nasher battles. Um, I'll go to the, um, the far side. I always used to call it Alter, uh, the gate side, um, which is where GL is now. Um, and that's yeah. actually something we should touch on as well. Uh, you'll see this on a few maps. Even though we've tried to make this um, and, and worked really hard to make this really balanced off the initials, um, we've tried introducing a lot of weapons um, that are balanced but not normally seen in competitive rotations, um, purely because we, we want to make sure that the game mode has a ton of fun in it and that weapons that we know um, are really fun to use and really cool to be part of the game mode exist here and it's not kind of ride out a little bit um, and we'll see how it goes we're gonna be monitoring really closely also that's that new marks are in action look how much more usable it is someone was saying to me is it nerfed on the stream uh, sorry on Twitter earlier oh we got a touchdown <laughs> nice um, but uh, yeah so um, it's it, you'll see for example bunker has a salvo but the salvo has been moved down into the kind of central bunker area so now if you're gonna use that salvo effectively you're gonna have to bring it up to the optimal position 
and obviously it's a slow, hard to move uh, weapon. So in a one life game mode, you're really taking a risk that you can get it to that position and have an impact early enough. You're not just gonna earn the position and the weapon now. So we're gonna do things that really like keep that fun factor in the mode, but also do it in a balanced way um, and keep an eye on it. So things like the GL, for example, you wouldn't see in Escalation right now, um, but you will see in Gridiron, um, yeah. if it suits the map. On this map, the GL is, is very balanced for it because of the distances. Um, but it's great at dislodging people from cover. I'm gonna go for a risky pick. I got away with it. God. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Garrett didn't push me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've had a lot of elimination rounds here. Yeah. Um. Not a single yeah, Blaze is like weapon locations are important to make a map great. Exactly. We, th I think the like it's funny. I, I, not funny, but it's interesting because with this mode, uh, really getting the white the right weapons. Uh, to sort of counterweight where the flag positioning was was really important because the flag is obviously like a gravitational force and it pulls all of the players yes. to it. And what we wanted to do was to go and have meaningful power weapons kind of other parts of the map so that there was a decision that if somebody goes and, uh, you know, do you go and send an entire team towards that or how, like where do you go and, and 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 devote your resources because there are implications on what all that means so i think you're gonna see um uh that, that the power weapons play a really big big role on on on, on how people uh on how these maps play out uh, in terms of specific things so, yeah, so there we go. see right there it, liam's a great example of with the bull talk Keeping the flag out of the uh, out of the end zone because that guy knew he was going to get down if he had it. Same thing with the impact of the single life mode. Yeah, unfortunately, I got shot by someone from behind. Uh, but uh, <laughs> like, it, well, it, leaves it, unfortunately it bought, like without sound, so it's it, hard. It bought my team, but it bought my team time. Like, even though I didn't clean up the kill, I was able to force the the um, the fight. And Pahanu supports alive, really deep fights into the end zones yeah. and the spawns. Um, Liam, you gotta, you gotta do the bull talk execution. Can you just I'm tell trying. the other team? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard to do on a on a on a further out map. So, yeah. I know I know people want to see it. I'll try. I'll try and do it. We'll we'll make sure it happens by the end of the stream, even if we have to get yeah. someone to be my guinea pig. Yeah. Sorry, guinea pig. Um, we are. I'm seeing all of you guys' comments about magnetism and aim assist and stuff like that. Um, that's so this a conversation have, we can have. What I want to do is yeah. I actually want to have. Um, uh, Jote and uh, Jamie McTaggart, our weapon guy, on a stream when we get back into the studio and talk a little bit about that, uh, where we can go and they can go into some details on what that all means. Yeah. So I'd like to talk a little bit about that a bit further. So. Note to self, don't throw blind smoke when a mark is aiming at you with a new mark here. New mark is a lot more efficient. Um, it's very much about hitting headshots, like body shots are still not that impactful. Um, but if you can hit headshots with it um, and control it right, you're gonna find it a bit more effective than it was. Um, the way I do it is I'm like body, 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 head. Um, is the way I do it. I treat it almost like a Halo BR. Yeah. Um, but it's a, lot, it's a lot more effective now. It's not, we've tried to make sure it's not back to where it was, obviously, which is why the change is different and the approach we've taken with it is different. Smaller clip size, higher rate of fire, lower damage in general. Um, so it shouldn't go back to where it was for the people who are really talented with it, but it should be effective again and something you actually want to pick up because, uh, you know, we kind of pushed it too far back in some ways uh, and it kind of became a, uh, something that people weren't really kind of fighting for. Yeah. Uh, Mahoney, uh, so uh, Johnny Coggear, which uh, we're doing in partnership with Gamers Outreach, um, with that got moved out uh, to uh, early off three. So we'll get we'll let you know exactly when that's coming, but it's not going to be uh, next Tuesday, but it'll be shortly there after that. So um, so stay tuned for that. But we know that people are excited about that about that character. Um, oh, are we gonna? Oh, uh, Liam, you'll play as, as Mira on the next. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to running now. We'll do Mira on the next map. Yeah, don't worry. Okay. Uh, don't finish him, don't finish him, don't finish him, Strang, don't do it, don't do it! Oh, you just denied the stream! <laughs> Strang just denied the stream! Oh, Strang. <laughs> um, uh, hold on. Oh, I like that. You almost got it. Um, 
Are we going to talk about uh, uh, random poly? We'll talk about a horde stuff. We have a PVE um, uh, blog coming out tomorrow that's going to go through all of the uh, updates and tuning changes to um, to horde. So what we can do is we'll uh, we're going to go through all that. Uh, we'll oh, talk about that me. tomorrow in our on our blog post. Uh, answer questions uh, on Twitter as we normally do, as well as on Reddit and the forums uh, Lee, where Liam is ever present. And um, and then uh, well, we can go through some of the PVE stuff on a more uh, next week when we uh, when we if we can go and do this stream again. I think I'd like to try it again. We'll see, depending on how Liam and I can make this work. This is it'll be easier next week, given that we won't have to coordinate. It'll be out in the wild, so we can play new modes and stuff like that. Um, someone was asking uh, what happens to all the stars when we complete tour. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's not something we've addressed yet. Um, we, like, it's something we want to get to is talk about like what happens to people who complete tour um, and are yeah. still earning stars. Um, but our priority for this operation was to introduce uh, the kind of stars as you play um, and also the uh, objective uh, changes that we think will be a lot more impactful for everybody. Um, and then uh, when we, you know, for the people who complete tour, uh, those are the people yeah. that we want to look at next. Um, so it's something we're going to get to. Uh, same as re-up rewards, like we know re-up rewards are something you want us to go back and re-look at and we know aren't good enough. Um, and that's something we are planning to get to. It's just that right now we want to make sure more people got more content out for playing the way they want to play rather than, you know, uh, potentially having to play modes or not. As well. Yeah. Uh, summons, this map is called Pahanu, which is the new one for uh, being introduced next week in Op 3. Uh, I would have got, uh, are there any more Gilded characters in the tour? Uh, Not Every this one, though. star, you know the rules. I can't talk about things in the future well, that are announced. Well, we can uh, talk come about the on, tour. man. Come on. Well, we can talk about the tour. There's, there's, there's no gilded. There's no gilded one. Well, yeah. Well, not, well, he would, We've already shown everything, in, so he's asking questions that he should know the answer right. to, or he's, or he's trying to bait me into saying something <laughs> that is. It's a one v five situation, guys. I got this. It's, it's all good. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Um... Oh, I missed. I had him. Oh, there's two. Come on, you guys are throwing this. This is this is a throw. This is a throw. This is not actually happening. This is not happening. It's like this is a throw. They missed easy shots on me. They're trying to. They're trying to. They're trying to give me the false hope that I can keep us in the fight. Oh god. Yeah, staged exactly. They're trying to make Liam look good. It takes an entire team throwing the match to make Liam look good. That's oh god. that's what's I missed required. Both. Get the bull talking. Do the execution I, if they're I, gonna throw it. <laughs> I'm not trying to throw it. I'm trying to win it. Oh! No. I saw the Garrett flag. <laughs> Uh, tacos. <laughs> Believe in your skill, the paid actors. Exactly. Um, you know what's funny? I'm going to get the possession win in six seconds. <laughs> no! Is that a risk? <laughs> I don't know if they threw that on purpose, but that somehow, that somehow was a 1v5. I'm pretty sure that was thrown for me. Hashtag script. Yes. <laughs> that can't happen. It can't happen. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been see, like, I don't a, trust, I don't a, trust uh, them they didn't do that. that um, Liam's only clutch ever. Oi.